nothing else to do So I go reset the moon Sipping some jungle juice In my bathing suit I turn my living room into a bar Hey guys, welcome to part two of my Costa Rica vlog. I I think part two is just going to be a bit more all over the place than part one was. Like, I was so on it. Like, I got to Costa Rica and I was like, oh my God, like, I'm going to have the best vlog. Like, I'm going to put so much information and clips. And I feel like I did good updates. I think I did anyway. To be honest, last week feels like a month away. So the way we split our holiday up basically was we did one week in San Jose, which is the capital, Manuel Antonio. And then we went to La Fortuna. Um, and now we are in... Papagayo. So I hope I'm saying one of those names correctly. But we basically did a two week holiday. It felt like we've been here for like a month. Um, we've got a few days left. I'm just going to literally enjoy the last few days. So yeah, I think part one will be out. And then this is part two. This is the pool area guys, I'm at Hotel Lomas de Volcan, got a jacuzzi here and honestly it's so pretty, I love how peaceful everything is at the moment. Yeah. 
different cases, different places, different faces that I've seen. Out of all the places that I've been, different times to many years before the world became a me. Before we were a thing, we used to fantasize about our biggest dreams. Hearts collide, paramedics hit the scene. Just another casualty. I know you draws in for someone that gets you wetter. Someone to do you better. Feeling this excitement because you want me. Holding it all together, but the regret is letting you up. Can't say the same thing. I moved on. Tell me, was it worth all the anxiety? Hearts collide. Feeling inside, bringing you up. How it goes in my arms. You once I've been losing people over shadiness. You say you've been praying, trying to change me. Telling me no Hey guys, I hope you're all doing really well. I actually haven't vlogged much in days. Um, that's just because I've been so busy and I've been vlogging all the behind the scenes, but I just haven't like spoken to you. So I thought I'd do a little update and I think this is going to be just part two of the vlog. But welcome to part two. Part two is going to be all about La Fortuna. There's just so much to do. Um, and that is all, everything you'll see in this vlog is all about La Fortuna and all of the fun things I get up to there. There's literally volcanoes, hikes, we're in the middle of the rainforest. There's spas, hot springs, zip lining, sloth. There's just so much to do here. So I definitely recommend if you go to Costa Rica to come to La Fortuna. And I hope this vlog makes you want to do that. I'm currently just working here. I've got two brand campaigns that are due tonight. So I'm in the middle of some hot springs in one of my hotels, which I will be vlogging and updating you on. Um, but I need to get this done. So for now, enjoy part two of my Costa Rica vlog. First of all, I need to apologise if you can hear screaming outside. People are literally playing volleyball in the pool and there's like bars and music and DJs and it's just crazy outside. Um, I'm just like literally going to get ready for a nap in a sec because I'm so tired. La Fortuna is such an amazing part of Costa Rica. It was probably my highlight of the trip and La Fortuna is such a tourist destination because there's just so much to do there. We probably did about half of what you can do as a tourist there. The general theme of Costa Rica is that there are many microclimates, which basically means like every single type of area um, is a different type of climate so sometimes it will be tropical rainforest sometimes it will be like hot beach sometimes it will be like raining in the mountains like it literally varies and you can go five minutes and it'd be completely different so La Fortuna is full of many microclimates and that means it's like the perfect place to go and do loads of different things so the things that we did were waterfalls we went, we went and saw so many waterfalls we did so many treks and hikes to see them and they are stunning um, I've got 
all of the footage on my phone which I'll be adding to the vlogs. We also did some treks around the volcano so La Fortuna has the Arenal volcano which a lot of people come to see. Again I'll put a footage of the whole volcano like it's so cool that we were literally staying in a hotel that overlooked a volcano. It's not active it last erupted in 2010 so we were all good and um, we also went and looked at sloths because sloths are really popular in Costa Rica and it's like the first time I've seen them we saw four so that was really exciting and then we just generally saw like loads of nature animals plants bugs like if you don't like bugs and snakes oh my god I've seen so many snakes here then yeah probably isn't the place for you and then La Fortuna is also known for hot springs so there are hot springs which are basically like waterfalls and rivers running through the area so literally the hot springs were running through the hotel so it was like a small luxury boutique hotel where it had spas and like the hot springs everywhere so you can literally go in as if it's like a swimming pool it's really hard to explain but like I'll try to put footage in a really cool experience so that's what i spent the last few days doing and now i'm in papagayo which is more north it's on the pacific coast we wanted to finish the holiday on like an all-inclusive beach resort and that's where i'm staying so i'm at a resort called secret papagayo and it's really famous like it's like one of the really well-known all-inclusive like five star resorts in costa rica it's been amazing so far there's like five restaurants two pools like six bars and you're right on the beach the beach is really soft sand the water's warm like it's just a really nice way to end the holiday we're here for five days and four nights so i'm just like embracing it right now and i probably won't vlog too much in this part of the holiday because it is literally an all-inclusive like i don't know how much of that you guys want to see I'm going to bring you along to the balcony so you can have a look at what this hotel looks like. Actually, I feel like I've not even shown you the room. Let me show you the room first. So this is the room. Don't mind my suitcase here. Um, I don't know why, but I have two double beds. So I decided like one's a dirty bed for when I like come back from the pool and haven't showered and I want to lie down. And this is my clean bed, which I actually sleep in. And we've got quite a large area for the TV. And then this is the wardrobe space. So it's like really nice and really big. I haven't properly unpacked because to be honest, I've been traveling for like two weeks now. Don't really have that many clean clothes left. Um, and then yeah, this is the bathroom, which I think is my favorite part of the room got two sinks obviously meant to be two people um but a huge mirror and lots of lighting which is really good and when i love when hotels have like an actual ring light for makeup now like i feel like if you don't have that what are you doing so yeah this is the bathroom bit then we've got the toilet which is like in its separate little cubicle there and then i have the shower the shower is really really nice in this hotel it's got a stand up on there I don't know if you can see but there's like the handheld one in there um, and then all the amenities were provided I definitely recommend this hotel it's a really nice all-inclusive and then I'm going to take you on the balcony sorry this was all set up for filming so that was actually in the corner up there so I'm gonna open the balcony up and prepared for the noise because it's literally a party outside So it did rain because we are in tropical storm season right now, so excuse that. But there's this entire sofa, which I was just lying on earlier. You've got a table, you've got some chairs as well. And then this is the whole resort. So as you can see, there's literally rooms all the way up there. There's rooms next door. Um, that's the ocean, if you guys can see. So the ocean's there, the beach is there. It's literally a huge resort. If you want like a good all-inclusive, like lots of different restaurant choices. We had Italian last night. I think we're having sushi tonight. Had pizza for lunch and like all alcohol, room service, like everything is included in the all-included. Like sometimes I think all-inclusive is like not worth it for me because I'm vegetarian and I'd rather have like go to proper restaurants and sit down and relax. But this resort is really good because there's one buffet restaurant which is open for lunch and breakfast but there's so many other restaurants which are like sit down and you feel like you're in a proper restaurant but it's all included like there's no limit to anything they've also got a really nice spa and gym area which i'll take you it's around the other pool i'll take you to that maybe tomorrow but yeah it's a really nice resort there's a lot of different people from a lot of different countries it's quite loud not gonna lie if you're old and you don't like music 
careful you don't like this hotel because the music was going on till 11, 12 last night. But for me, I'm okay with it because I'm here for the vibe, you know? So yeah, this is like the resort. I'll try to zoom you in. Like all the rooms, like that's a room there. My parents are in room below. Like loads of British people. So if that's your thing and you want to make some friends, then yeah, come to this resort. You'll have a really nice time. Also, that is a mosquito bite. That is one thing to bring up, actually. If you don't do well with mosquitoes, like, this is not the country for you. Anyway, I'm going to get ready for dinner now, and I will take you guys along tonight. I think we're having sushi, as I said, so hopefully we get some nice food, and I'll catch you guys later. <laughs> silver in the plate. lighting is like a bit of a joke i'm gonna film this way because yeah um the lighting is a bit of a joke my hair is a bit of a joke my outfit is literally my pajamas um but it's the end of my costa rica vlog this signal not the signal sorry the the quality of this i'm i might have to end this when i'm in london but i just wanted to say there's like they're playing sean paul outside there's a dj and it's literally a club so i need to come back here on like a hen do not when i'm with my parents because it's vibes, the actual vibes. So and hopefully in this part of the video, you can like see my tan. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed part two of the vlog. Give this video a like if you want me to do more travel vlog. Comment below if you've been to Costa Rica and where you stayed and any recommendations you have for other people as well. Mm -hmm.